Hey everybody, I'm Grant. And over the course of my young sports writing career, I've covered stories on Kane athletes in post-secondary, the pros, and even had a chance to call some hockey games as a broadcaster. But lately, my focus has been on writing a different story. And now, I'm happy to share that I'm self-publishing my first ever children's picture book called my friend, the Marshmallow Man. Well, let's talk about the story itself. It's about a child that is going to camp, but is very nervous and is worried about making new friends. He brings along his favorite toy spaceship. Uh, what was the inspiration of this? Was this you going to camp? Uh, you know, it's funny. Some people look at the cover and I've had friends look at it and they say, you know, Grant, the cover kind of looks like you. And, you know, when I was making the book, I never realized that. I'm thinking, you know, oh, shoot, they're kind of right. But no, it was never about me. But it was inspired when I was working for summer day camp in Oakville. Um, you know, we had this um, one boy come in. And so one of the things I noticed is that he was very quiet, but he would always read like these space books that he brought in. I'm thinking, oh, OK, you know, that's kind of his thing. And then I'd see sometimes he'd bring these miniature space toys, right? So that's where the inspiration came for, you know, having the toy spaceship with the boy in the story. Now, you raised over $4,000 via Kickstarter. Um, the funds via Kickstarter, what did they go towards? A lot of the money raised, you know, was uh, mostly for pre-orders, right? So it was mostly pre-order sales because the book was already made. In fact, it was printing as we were, you know, doing the campaign. So that was the really cool part about it. The one thing about self-publishing, I say, is different from traditional, you know, Self-publishing, a lot of it comes from the upfront cost. I'm going to be honest, like, um, I would say, like, at the point of Kickstarter, we were well over, like, $10,000 and put in this book. But I really wanted to make a good product. You know, like, I wanted to put the time, I wanted to put the focus, and I was just dedicated, you know, to putting everything I could into making this book as good as I could, but also understanding, you know, like, the budget and the financial um, things about it. But a lot of it was, you know, actually making the illustrations and putting the whole book together, that type of stuff. All right. Well, this book is already out, but uh, Grant, I mean, I got to ask you at this point, you're a children's author. So what's next? Oh boy. You know, I, I keep having friends and, you know, people that buy my book, they ask the same question, you know, it's like, Oh, one second book coming out. It's like, you know, hold on, you know, this book took, this book took two and a half years to even get to this point. Right. So, you know, it's like, uh, I'm still focusing, you know, trying to like get this book out to the public. Right. But I would say that if I do do a second story, I really want it to be worth my time. I really want it to be worth it when, you know, kids pick it up or parents look at it. I want it to be a really good story and a really good book. So if that time ever does come, I would love the chance to do a second book. But I would have to have as much commitment as I had with the first book in order to do so. Mm -hmm.